What's up guys, this is That Windows Dev with BitesizeTech.net and today we're going to talk about why Microsoft shouldn't release the Surface Phone. Now, first off, if you don't know about the Surface Phone, the Surface Phone has had rumors going around for about two years as far as I've seen, which is going to be a Windows Phone that's as big as a phablet running Windows 10 Mobile with like ultimate hardware specs something that every diehard Windows fan is going to love. Well, everybody's going to love it because who doesn't love Windows Phone? Now, announcing the Surface Phone has its good size, but it also has its bad size. It's going to confirm a lot of things that we've been hearing based on the rumors for the last two years. But on the bad side, it can kind of cost Microsoft in the end. The Surface Phone may be ready in terms of hardware looks and stuff like that, but it's not ready when it comes to software. Now, don't get me wrong. Windows 10 Mobile is a huge upgrade from Windows 8 and 8.1 on Windows Phone. It has a lot more features. It's just overall better better messaging better system better mechanics better looks everything's better good job on that we love windows 10 mobile it's like the best thing that's ever happened to windows phone in order for the surface phone to be a big success and appeal to a larger fan base you have to iron out windows 10 mobile there's still a couple bugs that need to be fixed not only that, we still need more features. Windows 10 Mobile has increased and given us so many features, but we still need some features that make us stand out from other mobile operating systems. Microsoft announced that they had more Redstone builds in mind, which means Windows Phone would get more features, which is a good idea, and this is great for the Surface Phone. But we don't want Microsoft to give us features just for the Surface Phone and leave out other Windows Phone users. That means we should probably add new features that fits both the Surface Phone and previous phones running Windows 10 Mobile. I really want to highlight the fact that Microsoft should really share features across devices because Hey Cortana was available to people that upgraded to Windows 10 Mobile and it was also available to some Windows 10 Mobile phones that came out after Hey Cortana came out. The reason why this is a big deal to me is because there are plenty of other phones that support Windows 10 Mobile that don't have access to Hey Cortana. The bottom line is, I don't think we should release the Surface Phone right now because Windows 10 Mobile still needs to be tweaked and it still needs a couple more features. We don't want to release the Surface Phone and only give it a few good features and a few features made specifically for that. We want to make sure that it has a whole slew of features right out of the box so that way it can get the attention it deserves and shine like it should. Personally, I think Microsoft should wait to release the Surface Phone and wait to announce it so it can get more features and Windows 10 can get more features in general. But if you think that the phone should go ahead and be released, leave a comment below in the box. I'm sure you guys know what to do, but just in case you don't, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This is That Windows Dev with BiteSizeTech.net and thanks for watching.